they claim that uh, you and Mr. Raider have so-called fleeced the flock, as they put it. It's a little difficult to know where they got that idea. I know this, that some ministers that have gone out of the church in disloyalty have felt that the commission of Christ that says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel should not be done. Now, there's a prophecy about it in our time. It's not a, itself a commission. It's a prophecy. Matthew 24, and verse 14. This gospel of the kingdom, which is not the gospel that is generally preached in the world at all, shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end of this present civilization and era of time and then Christ will come and set up the kingdom of God. Doesn't mean the end of the earth or anything of that kind of course. That work, uh, that's what God wants done, and it's going to get done, and man can't stop it. But uh, in the courts, we are concerned with the laws of man, and we never even mention the laws of God because they would, they would only laugh at it. They don't believe it. And now it's going into the world. You cannot travel all over this world as I do, and you can't get the gospel into many nations that are closed to a religious message. You can't unless the door is open to the top of the government. And God has been opening the doors to me, to emperors and kings and presidents and prime ministers all over this world. And then I began to hold meetings of uh, maybe their lawmaking body and then top people in the government and in business, and then pretty soon we, uh, we get campaigns going into the grassroots of their country and getting the gospel in there. That's all, and we have uh, no extra grind or anything. Now, how would I look where I have received the highest honor that the government of Japan has ever conferred on a uh, unofficial non-Japanese? How would it look if I went over there and got into some third-rate hotel back on an alley somewhere and uh, wore patched overalls and came in looking like a, a hippie that uh, hadn't had a bath or a shave in about two months? We have to travel first class, and we do. And some of them uh, would think that's wrong. Our people do not think that. The people that send the money want us to go just the way we do. Now, God has given me favor in the eyes of heads of many, many governments. And as a result, I've been able to hold campaigns and evangelistic campaigns and meetings in those countries. And I have no difficulty anywhere I go. Hotels, anywhere, they, they speak English. And uh, the gospel is getting out. Now, we're not trying to, as they say, get people, quote, saved, unquote. God has not sent us to do that. I like the word announcement. It's not used in the Bible, but that's what it is. In other words, we're not proselyters. We're not trying to get or take members away from someone else. I wouldn't turn a finger to take someone from another church. But if he wants to know a little more truth than he knows, I'd be glad to help him. 